Hello, one and all, to my favorite uh, adventure series of all time. It is Space Quest, and it is the Space Quest VGA version, which we are going to start right now. Welcome. This is a uh, MT32 version. So we'll be getting the best sound version. So let's enjoy. I'll give you my uh, little tidbits of information along the way as well. Once this great intro is done. Ken Williams, of course. This music is so amazing. A backwards comet. I don't know if you all saw that. Scott Murphy, what a talented man. One of the two people from Andromeda. The makers of this game. The other one being uh, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow. Yes, there they are. Scott Murphy and Mark Crow, the two guys from Andromeda. Scott Murphy was more of a writer. Mark Crow is more of an artsy guy. Oh, I'm so excited. So nostalgic. The thing about this game that's great is that you can literally click on anything. Well, not anything. But, uh oh. There's a lot of good humor in this game, even interacting with random items. Uh oh, what's going on here? I remember in the beginning of this game I felt so much pressure from the time limit. So in the beginning we're going to have to hurry up. As we join our story, the crew of the Arcana is returning home to Xenon after a successful mission developing the Star Generator. Exhilarated by their accomplishments, they are oblivious to the fact that the Sinister Craft... Okay. Here we see Roger Wilco in this closet here, waking up from a nap. Ah, see, a sub somewhat spastic research droid blows by in a tiz. Perhaps you could provide some relaxation therapy instruction to reduce its level of tension. I caught that just in time. You're startled by the sound of an alarm. Breaking through it, the intercom crackles with the frightened voice of a technician shouting that the Arcada has been boarded by unknown intruders. The transmission ends abruptly in a soundstorm of white noise, soon overtaken by the cold din of silence. Sequence you hear the overly Fifth cheerful season. voice of the Still ship's computer say, Okay, the time's going. Let's not waste time on that. Now, uh, let's make the speed a little higher. Um, save. Yeah, let's make a save here, because... Danger. Close. Start. All right, shall we go? Shall we? we shall? I like to observe things and whatnot, but this is not one of those times where it's going to do that. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, let me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, we could look through, I'm not going to right now because we have very limited time. Um, and I know what we need to do, you hear footsteps. steps. 
All right. Now, all these people you know, and you can look and you can... Failing to notice anyone or anything in the room, the Saren guards decide to check elsewhere. Way to go, Roger! All these people you know, and you can check on them, and you can tell their names and stuff, and it's really sad. Um, but, uh... I really don't want to bite the big one at the very start, so we're just gonna get off the ship. And we have the tongue option, and we have the nose option. Okay, here we go. Search Jerry's body, find the key card. Did I take the key card? Okay, good, I got it. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. No, he didn't. Okay. The door opens. A man you recognize is one of the head lab scientists stumbles into the room. He appears to be in serious need of some abdo seal abdomen filler. Now, one of the things I want to say before this guy slumps to the floor is that uh, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow hated the art style of this game. They thought it was too... Um, oh, what's that show that uh, had the big... The Lost in Space. It was too Lost in Space. Um, too 50s kind of aesthetic. They didn't want to go for that. They wanted a more... Um, 90s comic book aesthetic to it um, but that being said I think there's it's still pretty good and I still like it but I see what they're saying but the music's great anyway after only a few steps that he hits the floor with a disconcerting thud oh man good fall alright we'll see you man what's going on what's going on buddy His lips move. The star generator is in danger! The Arcana is under attack! You'd better get off the scow if you value your life, Wilco! Just before the systems cease all functions, short of decay, he looks over, over toward the shelves full of cartridges and others, Van Allen belts. With one last gap, his lifeless form slumps to the floor. Van Allen belt. I'm thinking this is probably a... Uh, uh, copy protection thing. I'm going to see if the copy protection was overwritten. If not, I will pause and then uh, get the copy protection and then we will uh, resume. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay, man, Allen belts. These buttons don't seem to be operating properly. Uh, but. Boop, 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 enter. Okay, yeah, um, one second. Let me load the game. Okay, now let's. Okay, I am back and I have the. Um, hopefully, the answer. All right, let's. Uh, no, come on, get me to the thing. I think it's a T, and there's the H, and the T, and then it's like a thingy. Here. Yeah. Cartridge found, now retrieving. Alright, let's get that from him. Alright, now... Uh, and also these items, they, they look weird. Three buckets. I don't know what a bucket it looks like. Look at these. These designs for these items look really overly futuristic and not functional at all. But again, that's a nitpick. 
This keyboard fits an electronic lock somewhere on the Arcada. The cartridge from the Arcada's data archive. Okay, so I should be able to put that in somewhere. Um, but let's now save again. So, got cart. All right, let's get out of here. Um, should I check his body? Nope. Okay, let's get out of here. I really don't like um, when those the soldiers come in. It's very tough to escape. I think they're gonna come in. Okay. Yep. Come on. Whew, that was close. Okay. Oh, okay. I stumbled into a closet. Well, that was the same closet I fell out of. Do I have anything? No. I think uh, I would have taken anything that I needed. So. All right. Let's get out of here. Now let's save again. Uh, let's have this be a regular type save. Um, funky monkey file. Yeah. No, no, no. I keep on misclicking. Okay, here. That's not good for time either if I do that. Alright. Come on. Are you guys coming to walk by? Yes, you are. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, let's get it. Let's get while the getting's good. What's this? I like that little animation. You find a small but heavy device affixed to the base of the star generator platform. It appears to be magnetic. That must be how the aliens upset the force field protecting the unit. Can I get it? Alright. Um, what is it? It's a widget. Not sure what it does, but it's heavy, it looks cool, and it might be magnetic. Please keep this away from the game discs. Alright, again, I don't want to spend too much time looking at these people, even though I would love to. Ten minutes. Detonation. Yes, thank you, ma'am. And there's that wonderful robot. All right, funky monkey file. Let's get out of here. Your footsteps. Yep, I know, I know the footsteps. Save on uh, Danger Close Start because I'm feeling this might be dangerous. Because there's a door here. Yep, come on, let's get in there. Okay, good. I think we're safe at this point. The monitor gives a readout about the ship's status, only the lab scientist really knows or knew exactly what it monitored. Alright, um, a pair of viewing ports protrude from the materials testing device. That won't be necessary anymore, I don't think. Look at this guy, I think he might be a Sarian. I hear footsteps. Uh Okay. I was gonna look at him, but something tells me I gotta rush. Oh wait a minute, I gotta hide. I gotta hide. I'm gonna hide behind the joystick. You should be able to see me. 
Failing to notice anyone or anything in the room, the Sarian guard decide to check elsewhere. Way to go, Roger. They should have been able to see me, but okay, I get what they were going for. That's forgivable, I guess. I do still love this game. I played this version before I played the EGA type E version. These are locked down, they won't help you anyway. Well, I need one of them. Well, let's push those couple of buttons. Gosh darn it. Oh yeah, bay doors, open. There we go. I really like that effect. Okay, let's see, what's this? I think this is a remote monitoring panel for some of the ship's systems. Attempts to understand the purpose always made your brain hurt. Okay, so yeah, it's useless. So let's get the hecky. Ah, well, good thing we got a, um, got a key card. I think that's the key card. Let's try. You ask yourself why you aren't doing this and force reply you don't know. You slide the key card into the slot. The lock releases with a satisfying click and the elevator doors slide open. All right. Off we go to adventure. All right. And now we're safe in here, I know. So... I'm going to make a new one called save, save, safe, safe. Okay. So now let's, uh, let's get everything. Cause that's what adventure games have us do. A space chute hangs in the closet. A helmet sits on the top shelf. You know some sort of gadget in the drawer. By the way, uh, I think uh, this is a good time to plug my uh, Space Quest series. I'm going to be... Well, I, I've played Space Quest um, VGA 1. Or now, I've played Space Quest 1 EGA, Space Quest 2 EGA, Space Quest 3 EGA, Space Quest 4... Space Quest 5, Space Quest 6, and I'm planning on playing Space Quest 2 uh, Remake, which is VGA. Um, and I've done all the ones with MT32 uh, sound, which is the best sound possible uh, when it comes to Space Quest 3, 4, 5, 6, and also the remake for one, this one. Um, so, if you like this video, watch my whole series. Um, when I started, I was a little bit uh, not very experienced, but um, it's still pretty fun. And I have my friends with me, and it's a live stream, so it's, it's a good time. Anyway, let's get going on this adventure. Okay, let's see. What do we got? We need a translator, and we... I think it's the translator? Okay, let's press the switch. Okay, now... Uh, we also need something else. Key card... Uh, Buckazoids... Okay, I got... No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, no, no, no. That's a bad thing to do. You need that. Okay, I guess I'll check the thing in the middle. But I don't want to miss anything. There's nothing inside this drawer. You push the button and the drawer slides neatly back into place. Um, okay, let's try this. There are no controls in this panel. It is populated only by gauges and readouts. Okay. 
The control panel has many confusing gauges on it. The only one you can read says caution, launch bay decompressed. All right, so that means we need a suit, obviously. So we have that suit. Now let's get going. All right. Ah, yes. And the, in this game, see, in the first game, there was a problem with a glass puzzle. And uh, we needed this glass for, oh, let's talk, let's look at the Sarian. Yeah, that's a Sarian, okay. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. No, I'll talk about it now. Okay, so when we uh, crash land on this planet, um, we are going to uh, be presented quite conveniently with a piece of very visible glass near the ship. Um, in the EGA version, the glass is nowhere to speak of. And you need this glass. And if you don't have this glass, then a, a bit later in the game, you are stuck. And if you did not do a good job saving, you need to restart the game. And that happened to me um, in my first time playing that game. Uh, and it probably happened to a lot more people. I know of a, a couple of people who've grumbled to me about it. Uh, so, yeah. You can see that in my Space Quest 1 EGA walkthrough. And also, there's probably going to be a, an interesting little scene that's an Easter egg coming up soon. But hold on, let's do our seatbelt. All right, let's, uh, we got plenty of time to see what does what. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's save just in case we uh, end up driving this into a wall. Shall we? Okay. Eh? No? I need power? Okay. Five minutes. Uh, I know. Destination. I know. Power? This option works better with the power on. Okay. Power? Okay. Power? All right, um, okay, so I'm definitely pushing that button, but saving first on that button, okay. I'm gonna save again. Boom, all right. As you slide the throttle forward, you can feel the arcada start to shake. And talk about it. escapes. All right, now first, let's override this one and press this one. You have a feeling you shouldn't have pressed that button. Oh no, the minor version of uh, the Space Quest theme. We're in trouble. Crash into another game, another dimension. This is, uh, the, for those who don't know, this is uh, the game Conquest of the Longbow. This is a scene from the game. Uh, ouch, I think that we've got some serious organ damage here. All of them, of course, could easily be replaced in the time period from which you just arrived. However, a quick scenery check reveals that you are now in the Dark Ages. The only transplant you'll get here is from Carcass to Spit over Flame. As you draw a few final lungfuls of oxygen through your newly acquired sucking chest wound, 
you gleefully notice your finally rest, final resting place is near beautiful Nottingham Castle, universally renowned for its inclusion in Sierra's Conquests of the Longbow. Sort of a Robin Hood type adventure. Oh my goodness, you're shocked to hear some highly inflammatory language making its way into your auditory canals. Must be some uncivilized ruffians in the nearby pub. Well, you're dead again. We even warned you not to push that button. You have no one to blame but yourself for having to sit through a plug for another fine Sierra product. Maybe you'll follow the directions next time. Thanks for playing and all that stuff. And uh, last time in Space Quest EGA, they, the button brought you to a scene from King's Quest 1. So um, it's kind of cool. It, 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 they updated even the game plug. So that's kind of neat. All right. Anyway, let's on with the game. Which one's... All right. Um... Be good. What? Okay, good. And we'll do... Uh... Flip that auto nav. Yes, we'll flip that auto nav. Corona. By the way, um, Scott and uh, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow, they chose the name Corona for this planet because Corona happened to be their favorite beer. It's simple as that. Um, FYI. All right. There we go. Now it's nice and major. It isn't minor. This is the real Space Quest theme. See how visible that glass is? They really heard when people complained. Thank you for flying Arcana Getaway Pod Lines. It's nearly been a pleasure serving you. Tell a friend if you've got one. All right, so let's undo our seatbelt. Um, where was that box? There we go. Let's see what that box has. Come on. Survival kit, okay. We got a Xenon army knife and a canister of dehydrated water. What the heck kind of knife is that? That is the jankiest looking knife I've ever seen. Okay, and uh, H2. Okay, I'm guessing that's dehydrated water. 10 gallons, okay. And we'll get that piece of glass, of course. And we'll save on Corona. I kind of wish they didn't just have a red X for when you didn't have something that had a good response. Everything should have a response. Oh no, not a grill. We'll know what this grill does. But for now, we'll just... Let's get some of this. You snag a cl small cluster of leaves from the gooey plant. Look at that sticky, icky stuff. Man. That stuff sticks worse than Fortnite old undergarments. It's a good thing your gloves are Tefloid coated. Alright. 
so let's walk and in a bit we're going to get a reason to hurry up Okay, there's no visible means of entry, that's fine. Let's go up here. Alright, let's follow it. This is a big creature. This was, in the first game, this was just a, uh... This was just a dune, a large dune, but uh, they turned this into a creature of some sort. I kind of like the design of it. Come on, it's very tricky uh, for some reason to get to the end of the screens. Ooh, this looks interesting, okay. Well, I want to go down. Oh, look at that. Spotted object hurling from the greenish atmosphere towards the part surface of the... Okay. Nope. I don't like that thing. Rats! If the eyes don't deceive, it's, that's a Sarian spider droid. They must have detected the escape pod leaving the Arcada. The spider droid must have been sent along to settle any unfinished business. After the jarring impact, small panels open through which legs sprout. You recall reading in an old issue of Space Piston magazine that this droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when close proximity to the target has been achieved. Leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Actually, that dino head... Might be a good place. Well, now you guys see what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's, uh... Maybe we can make our way there on a more circuitous route this time around. Did you see him just fall down on nothing? There was no sand or anything, he just fell down. Come on, can't you climb up? I'm up on the little paw. Okay, hold on. Uh, no. No, I don't want... Okay, I just clicked on something in my foreground, and this is making it very difficult. Okay, now let's try... Oh no! Here we go. Please just don't fall down. Okay, let's go here. Come on. Yeah. Can we... Yeah. Okay, I just want to climb up. We're going to find some place, and when we climb up, it's going to be great. I promise, it's going to be great. There we go. Oh, 
Out of the corner of your eye, you spotted an object hurtling from the greenish atmosphere towards... The... Okay, yes, we've, we've read this. Okay, and there's our buddy. It's the spider droid. Okay, now I'm just going to break it to you guys. There are two ways to get rid of the spider droid, and um, one of them is a way that I can get rid of the spider droid now. I'm going to do that because it's hard to move around um, with the screen that I have right now because I can't click the edges very easily. Um, so I'm just going to tell you the other way. Um, it's a little bit more elegant as the Space Quest historian would put it um, because you are tasked somehow to uh, get rid of a, another creature called an Orat. And so you lead this spot to the Orat, and it is attracted to the Orat, and they kill each other, and you get to um, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, um, in this case, I'm going to just perform the puzzle as it was meant to be uh, done the other way. It's still a decent solution. Okay, so this is what we do. Come on. Yeah, all right. We only have one chance to do this right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you wanna... Oh, okay, well... Uh, hint, hint. Well, it was there for a second. Well, dang it. Okay, we'll have to be patient. Come on. Come on, buddy. Go down here. Juicy janitor, this way. Okay, he's coming back down. I'm gonna save it this way. Here we go, Juicy Janitor. Yeah! It was not known that you were a master of the protrusion toss. That was a fine effort. All right. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. Corona. Alright. What's that? I got 46 out of 201 already. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say the widening of those tracks is an excellent indication that this thing is not a trusty, stable unit. And don't you hate the way it makes your brain bounce around like a handball in all that spare cranial space? can go and we don't have to worry about that nasty spider droid oh my lord that guy all that robot was a big pain So, whoa! Hey, what's the deal here? That elevator doesn't lower, it sucks! 
All right, so let's, uh, what's this? Stalagmite might have been broken loose previously and set back in place. The being responsible, most likely your Coronian counterpart, tried to fool everyone else by using some sticky gunk to hold it together. Like that would actually fool anyone. Let's get that. You flex those incredible muscles you wish you had, but you're barely able to snap loose the previously fractured stalagmite tip. Can we get any more of that stuff? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Okay, that's fine. We're, we're doing just grand. All right. Um... All right, let's uh, let's make another. Well, now let's not make another save. We're still in Corona. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey there. And an eye right here too. It's a great monster. I bet he's lonely and just wants to be your friend. Let's talk to him. We can't even talk to our friend. All right, can we sniff them? It smells great. Oh. Oh, the puns. I don't think you want to get that close. Then again, maybe you do. Can I? Uh, yeah, no. Okay. So, let's... Give him something sticky. Man, that's got to be frustrating. Hey there, great monster. How you doing, buddy? High five. Hey, who do you vote for on the uh, on the Super Bowl? That was yesterday. I don't care. Okay, bye bye. At least your eyes still working. Okay, let's see here. We got a door. And we got this thing here that's spouting steam. So let's put this in there. Okay. Whoa, that doesn't look healthy. So... Do I do anything with that pool? I don't think so. I know there's a death, but I'm not really doing this for deaths. I'm doing this for the sake of uh, adventuring. And well, let's, you know what? Let's take a drink. We need a drink. All right. Okay. Fine. We'll save it for when we're thirsty. That's, that's fair. We're not really thirsty yet. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now this is where people get stuck. This is the exact part where people, if they did not grab that glass, there is no way back up that elevator. And um, you need the glass to do this. Where is that? There's the glass. You have quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself, frying and infusing it into a state of inoperability. You yeah, see? Um, but if you don't have it, you are SOL. Okay, now this is tough. Um, I don't know why there are puzzles like this, but hey, 
I'll probably die a couple times, but whatever. Okay. Boopity boopity boop. Okay, good. I think we're actually through. I'm nope. <laughs> that was actually really cool. Okay, I enjoyed that. I forgot that sample was there. You are unpleasantly surprised by a drop of searing acid which bores its way th through to your feet. Now that's some seriously deep pain. Okay. There we go. I got the point sound, so that means we are okay. Oh, that poor great monster. That smells so great. Alright, we turned on our translation device, so we should be fine. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly, you become aware of the fact that you cannot move nor speak. A strange, unknown force has taken over. A massive, holographic image appears before you. It begins to speak. So you have found your way into my hollow chamber. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. I have been monitoring your travels on, your pla on our planet. It appears you are up the proverbial estuary without a means of locomotion. In other words, you're on the Leather Express. Slapping the dogs, pounding the sand, you'd kill for a fine ride. You're obviously in need of transportation. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck, strange one. Bring me the evidence of the beast of Orat's demise and we'll talk. With that, you find yourself transported back to the surface. All right. Well, there we go. Um, put that on Funky Monkey file. And now we go to that dinosaur head. And we can go there without worrying. But first, I'd really like to drink a little bit of that... Um, water just in case I get too thirsty oh heck all right you know what here's a fun little scene let's just save before we do it let's walk curiously you decide to investigate further That should teach you not to be messing around in strange holes. Yeah. I liked the, uh, the EGA version a little bit better. I think it was cuter. Another version of that death. Deaths which Sierra games have been made famous. Alright, here we go. We're at the dinosaur head. The T-Rex head, actually. It's, it's, it's very reminiscent of a T-Rex. Alright, shall we? Um, am I not thirsty? Mmm, that dehydrated water really hit the spot. That should get you, keep, you, keep you going just a bit longer. Okay, good. Anyway, now, the thing is, it's highly pressurized, so what do you think we're going to do when we see an Orat? Orat is huge and ugly. Of course, your opinion may differ depending on what part of the universe you are from, 
you might also get the impression that he might be quite mean. Okay, maybe he'll like some water. Or at always in mood for in a mood for the snack, snatches the can out of the air with his spacious oral cavity. He chews and swallows it. He notices a rumbling deep within his abdomen. Boom. And uh, I believe that's what's left. Surprisingly clean, uh, considering the aura just exploded. This gleaming chunk of Orad's anatomy is the only visible proof that Orad ever existed. After that explosion, it's amazing there's that much left. You reach down and take the Orad part in your hand. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. A pile of skulls that I hear sucked clean by the Orat or was a result of them writing too many adventure games. Adventure game writing can be hazardous to your health, apparently. But we love them. It's worth the danger. Alright, so now let's go back and show this Orat part. Let's see how many points we're at. 72 points already. That's, that's pretty darn good. Cross that one more time. Ooh, no doubt about it. There's going to be an accident or of one kind or another on this shaky piece of calcium-rich matter. Yeah. Let's not risk that again. If we can help it. But you're getting to truly hate this elevator. Why, well, yes, I am, narrator. All right. Oh, this great monster's really having a problem. That is some sticky stuff. Let's make another save because that is a precarious situation. Another save. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. Yes, you're melting. All right. No. Okay. 
saw it once, we don't need to see it again. No! Okay, I'm gonna not rush. Okay. We'll save that there. I should get more points for that, honestly. But whatever. This is like, whose line is it anyway? The points really don't matter. Again, the massive holographic image before you speaks. I ad-libbed that. So you have returned. Do you have proof of the destruction of Orat? If so, drop it before me. By the way, um, the two guys from Andromeda are huge fans of 2001 Space Odyssey. Very triumphant. Drop the ore part to the ground. The vision is silent as the dainty morsel splats to the dry soil. You are startled by a rumbling. Suddenly, an oddly shaped door comes into view and slowly opens. You hear a voice, different this time, beckoning you to step forward. When you step through, the door slides closed with a faint hissing sound. You are alone in the strange in a large room full of strange equipment. Whoa. Please don't be alarmed. We attend no harm. We are a peaceful race. We are cautious, however. Others don't share our way of life. Welcome to Corona. You are standing in the power generation facility of our underground settlement. All power here is produced by steam. That is unimportant to you, however. We have promised you transportation. It is a skimmer. It hovers approximately one half meter above the traveling surface. This is, this is very important because of Grill, that uh, worm that we saw at the beginning of uh, the corona. Grill and his like dwell in the caves below the sand. If you stand on the surface too long, you have a chance of becoming a rare moist meal for him. The skimmer is programmed to take you to this settlement on the other side of the corona called Ulent's Flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. I'm sorry, this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Board the skimmer when you are ready to depart. Good luck, strange one. Alright, so uh, I do want to let you guys know that Ulent's Flats, and it took me a long time to figure this out, is a pretty big pun. Um, hold on a second, let me just save the game here. And, uh, it's basically, if you reverse the two words, Ulent's Flats, I will say it, uh, I, I need to be a little bit careful because um, this is, this video is a little bit more. Uh, I need to be more careful with what I say in this video since I might be using it for for, for an advertisement. But um, flats, ulents. Does that sound like a word anybody knows? Flats, ulents. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I, I hear that's a word that's pretty funny. Um, I don't get it, though. Anyway, now that I uh, have that taken care of and have addressed that, uh, let's see what this is. Nothing's available or visible on the screen. Let's use it. You might need to insert a data cartridge, but we have one. A lot of people miss this. But here we go. Let's. Is this the data cartridge? Or is it. No, that's a key card. Nothing looks like what it is. That's a key card. Okay, where's the cartridge? Does that look like a cartridge to anybody? 
This looks like something you plug into something. This looks like a crystal. But okay. We'll pretend that looks like a cartridge. Whoever shall read this, my name is Dr. Slash Vohal. I am a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard the Star Lab Arcata. We have just successfully completed the development and testing of the Star Generator. During this time, I have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission. If my fears prove true, the Star Generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. The Star Generator is a miraculous device. Used as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. Used as a device for evil, it would cause the, the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Sarians. Encoded within this cartridge are all the plans and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Should any disaster befall the Star Generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the Star Generator with this information. Please guard it with your life and return it to the Xenon ruling body as quickly as possible. Important note, the Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This was an in introduced to the system as a precaution. To activate it, one must enter the code 3587. Now, in the first game, this was a, uh, a 3587, 3587. Okay. A five-minute time limit will be countdown, and anyone within five kilometers will blow up. Good luck. Yeah. So, I was going to say, but the timer of the speech caught up with me. Um, the first uh, Space Quest game, it was not a random number. It was just 6858, I believe. And uh, this one, it's randomized, so I had to write it down. 3587, I think. I think. You know what? I'm going to double check that. That would, that would not be good if I... Uh, <laughs> that would really not be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 3587. Yes. Okay. So, we got that. Now, the next thing is the arcade sequence on Corona. I believe you can opt out of it because it's really tricky. The EGA version is really tricky. Um, but I'm going to try to do it. Oops. Had the darn thing in reverse. I hope nobody saw that. Oh yeah, of course, Roger. Nobody saw that. This section is an arcade sequence. Would you like to play or skip this sequence? I believe that's a question. Let's play. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Ah, uh, you see it. It's tricky. Well, it's not that tricky. I can kind of... Uh, Alright. I get it. I've done it. For the sake of expediency... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Um, just want to make sure I... Oh. Was I supposed to keep that? Cartridge? Huh. Well, I guess I did it. Okay.
now that we know what we're doing. Yes, yes. I'm going to just skip it. And we can see Ulens Flats come up in the view. Maybe you could try playing the arcade sequence next time. Way to, way to guilt trip me. Jeez. Rocket bar. Oh, there's the evil guy flipping a nickel and wearing it. Oh, whatever. After a truly stone crushing journey, you have miraculously arrived safely in Ulan's Flats. And just in time, too, because the skimmer's power cell has been drained, it'll take some time to recharge itself. This place isn't quite what you had imagined. It's semi bleak as best. An odd-looking fellow is lounging against the wall of a nearby building, watching with you with a great deal of interest. And flipping a nickel and doing all that stereotypical stuff. I'm sure we can trust him. Say, pal! I couldn't help noticing your skimmer. It's a genuine 86 Pleiades GL. I've been looking everywhere for one of those babies. How'd you like to unload it for the unheard of price of 25 buckazoids? No way. Fine, be that way. We'll wait a little bit. But do not leave your uh, ship unguarded. This place is... Not a very safe place. Oh, look, NCC, um, little TNG reference right there, I think. This appears to be a long-range shuttle, perhaps from a large starship. It looks vaguely sim familiar somehow. You think? Oh, there we go. Okay, buddy, you drive a hard bargain. This is my final offer, and I'm only making it because I can see you really need it bad. I'll make it 30 buckazoids and I'll throw in the swell jet pack. It was previously owned by a little old Thark who only flew it back and forth to flea butt on Sunday. It works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. Do we have a deal or don't we? It's a deal. Great. Yeah, thanks. Glad we could do business. In addition, I'd like you to have these coupons good for discounts and free merchandise from some of our local merchants. As a representative of the Ulan's Flats Chamber of Commerce, I, I, I hope you enjoy your visit to our friendly little community. Okay. Yeah, see, you could have coupons in the uh, original game. They were feelies in the, uh, in the box uh, of the Space Quest one EGA game actually and they said you know once you reach this part in the game just give coupon just say give coupon and you will get benefits and you do and so that's kind of a unique way of doing it and so now let's uh make another save we are now in Ulent's Flats All right. Um, let's go in the bar. Hey, Blues Brothers. <laughs> All right. And uh, I believe we have. Uh, okay, so I, I, I've got a story to tell about this. So, um, ZZ Top was, uh, used to be part of this, uh, uh, bar, well, a, uh, not ZZ Top, but, like, a look-alike ZZ Top band, uh, was one of the bands that would come up and play, um, but... Sierra and ZZ Top got into a little bit of a kerfuffle 
So they removed them. Well, they didn't really remove them, they just made the sprites really small. And if, if you were clever, you could resize the sprites to the original size and see ZZ Top. Um, and then I believe we can also see uh, a Madonna look-alike, but eh, who cares, right? Now, knowing that little machine right there, I feel very bad for this guy. Oh! Yeah, that's why. Okay, so... We could try to save scum and make money on the slot machine that way, but we got this thing. Let him roll. Okay. Um, where's my bucket of weights? Yeah, those things, whatever the heck they are. Slots of death. Let them roll. All right, I went 30. Alright, 60. So basically I can't lose because I hacked the machine with that magnet thing. Yeah. Let's uh let's break the system. Bup, bup. Fifteen. All right, thirty's better than that. I wonder how many they're going to let me win. Yes, yes. Come on. You can imagine how annoying this would be if you uh, had to do this without this. And with the possibility of death as well. Let them roll. Come on, give me rocket ships. Yes. Step back nervously as the overheated slot machine begins to sputter and smoke. Wow, I guess you overheated the poor old thing. Oh well. Let's talk. Uh, this guy's not actually a sparking conversation. Well, hey, lady. How are you? So, you come here often? Get out of my face, Pinky. You decided she's not your type. Heck, she's not even your species. All right, well, let's let's uh, talk to this fellow. Let's, let's save first. Excuse me, my good man. I would like a drink. Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. Uh, I want to give him. What's your beef, Junior? Want a beer? It costs two bucks of ice. No. Stop bothering me already. I got a coupon. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I want. 
bar. I would like to redeem this coupon for five buckets of oats and a free beer. Hold on, Mac. I'll get to you when I can. Here's your five bucks of oats and your free beer. Mmm. Tastes better than it smells, thanks goodness. Another one would be nice. Man, we, we want to, like, listen in, you know, hang out at the bar, see if anybody says anything. Maybe we'll pay for another one. Yo, how about a refill? I'm busy, wait your turn. What's your beef, Junior? Want another drink? Sure. Here you go. Ah, yes, that hits the spot. Just one more should do it. Let's wait a little bit. Alright, I like these two guys. They're kind of cute. Alright. Yo, how about a refill? I'm busy, wait your turn. What's your beef, Junior? Want another drink? Here you go. As you sip another one of the odd brews, you hear someone at the bar speaking, I was there cruising through sector CC when I spot this blip on the scanner. So I head toward it, you see, and there sits the Deltor, just sitting there. My heart skips, starts hyper-warping on me. I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there, so I'm reaching for the throttle. All of a sudden, there's this incredible flash of light. And just like that, this planetoid explodes into a ball of fire, I tell ya. I've never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and got out of there quick, you bet. Alright, well now that we know it's Sector CC that we gotta go to for the to go to the Deltor. I'm going to quickly pause because there's a copy protection thing for this. So hold on one second. We are back, ladies and gents. We have the code that we need and we are ready to uh, get a ship, get a droid, and be on our way. Let's do it. If I can get uh, there, we go. There are a couple of non-galactic -gal looking humanoids cranking out some unfamiliar sounding tunes. They seem interested solely in the music they are performing. All right, well, I would say that's, uh, that's all we need to do at this bar. Okay. Let's save, because some people, uh, you can get held up. You can get mugged. Um, let's see here. Let's meet the used car sales ship guy. This is a real classic, a Wall Wallwood Warp Blaster ZX with the original paint job. You've only seen these on old postcards. Oh, look at this. This might be one of those Looney Tunes rockets. This one's a genuine antique from the 24th and a half century. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. I called it. Oh, that's from something. That's from something. And this is... <laughs> okay, this is funny for another reason. Um, oh, it, it, droids be us. So, uh, Sierra, again, got into a little legal kerfuffle. Um, because they had a store called Droids R Us. So, uh, you know, they figured, well, what's a good way to... Uh, we have this pixel art. Um, what's the best way to recycle it? Well, turn it into a B, and it solves the problem. 
So for this VGA version, version they added a little uh, alien giraffe looking thing. And I love it. And then there's this, uh, this robot that I hear is from something. I don't get the reference, but it's a lovable little depressed robot. And I know it's from something, but... Alas. Okay. Well, look at that. That looks like a cool little ship. And it's got its own little, uh, what's the decal? And a flying saucer. Howdy, bucko. Can I interest you in one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning taste. This one, for instance, is just your speed. Er, style, that is. This is quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. It was once owned by a little old lady from Glanzadrom. You just have to fly it to believe it, and she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. One time off her only. Only. Talk to me, friend. Alright, so... If you don't pick the right... Yeah, okay. If you don't pick the right ship, you will die. Unless you pick one. Um, however, you will kind of be stuck because he doesn't give you all your money back. So I'm just going to tell you, it's this ship right here, if you want to ever try it or see a video of it, I'm just trying to get through the adventure because the adventure is fun. Um, and it, what it will do, it will shoot you into the ground and you dig yourself out and you've survived. Um, the other ones are really, the one you need is the one with the decal, the really cool looking one. Okay, so let's get that cool looking one. Do I have a coupon for... Now take a gander at these beauty sport. If you like one, give the hoot. I'll stand right over here. No pressure, absolutely none. Okay, so... That's fine. I like no pressure. Droids be us. Okay, so this is for droids be us, so... Um, fine. What do I have here? Three or four buckazoids. Regular old ladder. Actually, this ship is not bad looking. It appears to be a Dralian cruiser. They have a reputation for quickness and reliability. You were surprised that someone of Tiny's caliber would be carrying it. So, how about a partner? Can I introduce. Uh, ugh, okay. No, 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 we don't want that one. No, we don't want that one. But this one. Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Top of the line. Handles like a charm. Perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. Alright. Give the man his money. Or... Alien... Well, he's not really an alien. He, I'm the alien here. Give the being his money. Or its money. I tell you, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. Okay. Well. Now I need to get... A droid and this place works a lot like Toys R Us would you know you go back to the warehouse to get your item that you bought with the ticket that you take so it's it's really kind of uh, nostalgic the sign says all sales final in 1438 languages droids be us Greetings, sir. Allow me to show you one of our final line of robots, otherwise known as droids. We have a wide variety of work-saving, life-enhancing, shiny new factory fresh technological wonders of modern engineering wizardry. Wow, I can't believe we went through that. However, I can see that we would be more uh, interested in our line of economy-priced-used robots, wouldn't we? 
Please observe our robot preview screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Um, I'm going to save here because now you can get a lot of these and a lot of them are funny responses, but again, it's very time consuming and I'd like to have a streamlined playthrough. So uh, let's give the insect looking being its coupon. Very good, sir. This coupon entitles you to a reduction of 20% in the price of any of our fine previously owned droids. Okay, and I believe a lot of these are actually um, references to things. Sales bug of the year? Sales bug of the year. You better watch your money run this guy. Uh, is that a Dalek? Yeah, that is. Hi, yo. I think that's actually a reference to uh, an anime. I'm not a big anime guy though, so I don't really know. But um, I do remember that being, I think, a, an anime movie. Anyway. Um, okay, I got my money ready. Nap 201. Is that one though I, I missed my timing yeah it's a Dalek okay I know Max 42 rock okay there you may pick up your purchase at convenient doors or pick up area located just at your door to your right. All right, let's see if it's the right one. Hello, sir. Your new robot will be here in a moment. Well, there he is, sir. Programmed to follow you around like a whimpering little puppy dog. How humiliating. Okay. Hey there, buddy. The droid emits a cheerful chirp, but has nothing further to say right now. Fortunately, you bought it as a pilot, not a conversationalist. All right, little buddy. Let's get going. We got a little droid buddy. I'm happy. All right, shall we? Okay, we have to look at the decal. Oh, there's, there's nothing, okay, no, there's no, there's no unique thing for it. Um, once you were seated snugly into the ship's compact pit, uh, cockpit, the robot moves into the position and you push the load button. Hey, wait a minute, what do you think you're doing with my ship? That's the guy who can uh, mug you. And this is, oh, I have to say something here. In Space Quest IV, you can go back to, um, you do go back to, to this place, to Ulan's Flats. And so that is the exact point in time where you come back to Ulan's Flats after you just left the planet. Um, so that's such a cool throwback. Um, and you can see that and uh, more games on in the Space Quest series in my playlist. Um, but anyway, let's continue on. Are we going to see a backwards comment? We have achieved escape velocity. It might help if you were to tell me where we are going. Please indicate our destination on the touchpad in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to put a new save and put this as the Deltar. 
It's actually a pretty uh, short game, but it's it's really great. It's groundbreaking for its time, and I love it. I love Sierra games, even though they can be obtuse sometimes. All right, let's see. There, and then take this one, and then we're good. Okay, I'm planning our course. Course is plotted, stay by warp speed. Since it's indicated a large ship in the sector, I wonder who it can be. We'll continue to scan for an ID. Huh? Whoa, that's a Sarian battle cruiser. We better stand off. If we get any closer, they'll detect us for sure, and we'll be a space sputum. Let's head on out of here, okay, boss? If we say okay, we would just get like a death sequence. <laughs> basically says, what the heck are you playing for? No. As you exit the ship, you carefully slide the jetpack onto your back. Oh, that's cool. That looks really cool with the shadow. You're floating in space, just outside the biggest darn spaceship you've ever seen. You see a door, perhaps it's a way in. And what's cool is you can actually go to other parts of the Deltor, but you always get shot. But, heck. Doesn't take that much time. Let's zoom this way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Let's see. Come on. Come on. No, I don't want a question mark. See? It's kind of cool looking. It's a really cool ship. Anyway. We are here. It's too big to move by hand. There must be a better way. So what's this? All right. We're ready to get in there. Oh no, the jetpack. Throw that out there. Uh, hold on. Save. Um, danger close start. I'll put that on danger close start. Um, you want to go? You don't want to go near it. It may explode. Um, okay. I'm thinking that a droid's gonna come soon. So let's make ourselves. Scarce. All right. Now there are two ways to do this. We can either hide in the box. It's pretty easy. Um, or we can go in through the tunnel by pushing the box towards there, using the Swiss Army knife on the grate, and then crawling through. Um, either way is fine. Uh, so, I really don't have any preference. Okay, so it has me doing that, so I will do that.
hands by your, themselves are incapable of opening it. Well, let's use this weird looking thing. Finally have a use for it. Okay. Oh, that's cool looking. All right, let's go up. I think up is the way to go. Okay, let's check this. Uh, let's check out this grate. This vent grill appears to lead to another room on the Deltor. It appears to be closed. Well, I'm not surprised. Okay, so let's kick it or something. With a mighty wimpy kick, you manage to hurt your foot. However, the vent grill opens. Okay, now. We are here. And it looks to be... It looks like a microwave, but I think it's supposed to be a washing machine. Yeah, another helmet sits in the washer. So, let's go and get it. Nothing bad can happen. Right? I don't know why you put yourself in there. Uh-oh, you hear someone coming. And now, somehow, while the cycle's on, you don't die, and you switch costumes as well. I think it's Roger Wilco's only secret power, special power. Look at that. Darn static cling. Hey, look at that. By the most amazing stroke of luck, you've traded in your extremely conspicuous Xeon spacesuit for a Syrian officer's uniform complete with helmet. Searching for the pockets for your newly found disguise, you find the number of possessions you were packing has been greatly reduced. In fact, everything was lost in that limbo void to where socks something. So basically, uh, we don't have anything we don't need. We just have a buckazoid. Okay, I'm not even sure we need a buckzoid. What's this? Old Febreze? There's an ID card. Okay, great. Butston Frame? This is Butston Frame. In the pocket of this ugly outfit is a Sarian ID card. The name on the card is a Butston Frame. You wondered if this is a common Sarian name, and if it is, you're glad you're not Sarian. Yep, it's Butston Frame. From the first game. So, now that we're officially Butston Frame, why don't we make a save in honor of Mr. Freem. One seventy one out of two hundred one. We're almost, and we're not getting all the points because uh, I did not. I skipped the arcade sequence, so we are almost done. All right. You close your eyes in hopes your death will be quick. But to your surprise, the guards do not notice you. In fact, you think your uniform is of a higher-ranking Syrian officer worth sucking up to. Cool. All right, let's, uh, I think if we talk to some of these guys, or, uh, or gals, who knows, um, they might ask us if we've played some Sierra products. Halt. No one is allowed access to the captain's personal escape pod. In fact, come to think of it, I'm not even sure the captain has access to the captain's personal escape pod. Yeah, okay, sure, bud. Just don't tax those green brain cells. Man, Roger getting sassy. Uh, well, anyway.
anyway. Let's, let's get a feel for this area. Now that we don't have to worry about hearing footsteps to our right or left. Is this a place where we can go? No. Let's go down. I remember there's a big tough Sarian um okay let's see what's this all right what's this the globes crackle with many colors of light, and you suspect even less healthful manifestations of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's talk. Thank you for the salute, sir. How are you doing, son? Son, sir? Chills run down your spin as you realize he has no concept of the word son. Sir, you're going to attend the maturation and reproduction ceremony tonight? You don't even want to begin to imagine what that might be about. Where am I might find the star generator, soldier? I'm sorry, sir, it's confidential. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. No offense, just my job. Uh, no offense taken, soldier. Good work. Just checking your alertness. Yeah, that's it. Just checking your alertness. You wonder when game designers are ever going to stop using that same old worn out cliche about people killing you after telling you something secret. Okay, all right. Ten little sign tacked on the front of wit uh, reads "Wits End Coil." Disconnect from power supply before servicing. That might be an in joke or something. Okay, yes, you can move. What's this? Ah, okay. So this is, uh... That's that area. Why don't we go... That way? Okay, let's... This hallway. That's gotta be new, right? I love the perspective. What's this? Can even go there? Whoa, that's a fast moving. guessing that to my left is that laundry room. Let's take... Did I take the elevator last time? I guess we'll find out. Nope. I did not. Okay, so what's this? Place to curl up and take a nap. Too bad you're such a hurry. We've got a cleaning droid here. Ah, there's a big dude. And there's a star generator, I think. This is the biggest, toughest, not to mention ugliest Sarian guard you have ever seen. At present, he is diligently guarding the star generator from intruders such as yourself. He's wearing some sort of gadget on his belt. But from here, you can't tell what its purpose might be. Cowabunga, Wilco. This is it. It's this unimaginably, unimaginably powerful star generator, which must not at any cost be allowed to remain in the hands of the evil Sarians. 
But you knew that, right? Okay. So, at least now we know where that is. I probably am going to try not to talk to that fella. Um, okay. I'm guessing a lot of these things are useless. Let's go up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the way to the weapons chamber. And nothing will ever go wrong, I'm sure. This is where everything goes right and Roger makes his way to the ship and... The end, right? Ah, yes. Oh, welcome to the weapons dispensary, I guess. I have an IQ of 5,000, but they feel I'm only good enough to fetch weapons like some whimpering puppy dog. You'll have to show me your ID card so I can scurry off and fetch your weapon. Why don't they just wire me into the ship system so I would know who you are with an ID card? It's beyond even my supreme intellect. Yeah, so we need one of these. Not two. If we take both, or if he catches us taking one, we are shish kebab. So we have to, like, be really, really, really fast. Oh, how clever. You have an ID card. And, oh, I have a lovely photo, pre-photo, organic biped you have, too. I guess you can use my vast resources to fetch your silly weapon for you. Please wait here if you can handle such a simple command. Man, what a bitter guy. Uh, oh dear, I'm dead. Yeah. Um, can I hand it to you from over here? I really would like to. It would save me some time and make it easier for me. Alright, let's try it. Here you go, buddy. No. Okay, so, come on. Okay. Come on. There we go. Whew. Oh my gosh, that is tense. Robot, if you're so smart, how come you don't notice that? I'm not even good at Okay, well, I'll talk to you once. You carbon base? Okay, same thing. Let's see what we got here. I have a blaster. It's a pulse ray laser pistol. Remember, it's not a play toy. Okay, and... This does not look like a gas grenade. You have a small, innocuous-looking gas uh, grenade, which is a gas grenade. Okay. Anyway, thank you, sir. Uh, robot? Okay. So, how are we going to get rid of a near-invincible robot? We do it from far away. That's right. You notice a remote control device on the guard's belt. 
Okay, good. So I'm just going to go ahead and go and get that. 178 to 201. All right. Everything's going great. Nothing can go wrong now. Do, 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 yes. Let's go to the elevator. All right, all we have to do is go to that elevator. Oh, okay, we can just pick it up. You just pick it up. No, come on, we can just... Uh, sir? 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 My, aren't you the clumsy one. Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet has been collected by the trash droid. Now you've blown your cover. The Syrians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Well... So much for Butston Frame. one come on walk <laughs> man that 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 alien or that Sarian really was not a great shot he was right next to me Here we go. We're safe from other droids or other Sarians. You remove the device from the guard's belt. It looks like you've found the remote control that turns off the force field around the star generator. Good. So let's do that. What in the, what in the world? Press the stud on the remote and the force field around the star generator begins to deplete. Okay, so now it's a good thing we took down that code. It's not 6878 any longer or 6858. It is... It is three five eight seven. Self destruct engage. Have a nice day. We have five minutes. Tour. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? I am glad that they're kind of kind to us with the gun. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Uh, is this something? Yes. Okay. Okay, now this should be it. Oh, thank goodness. 
We're here. One ninety eight of two oh one. All right. Well, I think we've done everything. We're saving the universe. Well, Xenon. And perhaps the universe. Kaboom! How triumphant. Roger Wilco, we, the people of Xenon, extend our limitless appreciation and eternal gratitude for your acts of heroism. Now, if you'd only been smart enough to bring along that data cartridge containing... Oh, no! Well, Roger, you saved the galaxy, received the profession's most notable tribute, and got the girl. Wait a minute, there wasn't any girl. Well... Sorry, you got the mop anyway. From now on, Xenon's your oyster. All you have to do now is lay back and as the sun sets on a peaceful blue planet, Xenon, and Roger Wilco's first adventure, yes, I'm afraid there are more, we hope you will remain blah blah blah. So basically the ending's the same either way, but I should have taken out the cartridge once I was done looking through it. So I'm kicking myself for that, but... It really doesn't affect the ending, so there you go. And let's uh, let's look at this great credit sequence. Actually, this gives me a chance to, I guess, plug my uh, my channel. Um, you know, I I I'm gonna include a, uh, a discord link and also a link to this playlist um please feel free uh, good job mark siebert by the way for the music um check the playlist for all the other playthroughs of the space quest games also um every wednesday i play at 8 8 p.m eastern time a live stream um, with my friends on the Discord, and it's a heck of a good time. Um, right now we are playing a game called The Captain, and it is amazing. Um, and I encourage you all to come see it. Uh, let's see. What else do I say? Oh yes, uh, click the bell, subscribe, like. And by the way, I love comments. I love when people comment. I respond to all the comments. I really love talking with everybody who watches these streams. And I really appreciate everybody for watching this stream. Um, thank you all very much. And that will do it. Um, yeah. So you all have a very nice day. And I will see you all later, hopefully. Okay. What's the dang button?